Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. You know when it comes to cooking fish, fried fish, baked fish are not the only ways you can cook fish. Today we're going to blacken fish. And let me tell you, ever go to a restaurant and have blackened fish you know how good it is? That's how good this is going to be, maybe even better. Easy to do. Very, very simple, I'm gonna show you. This is fantastic. I like to do this outside as well because it creates a little bit of smoke. First thing you do, cast iron pan. I have a cast iron pan here. Any cast iron pan will do. I've got it on the heat, no oil, just bone dry. And I put it on there about 20, 25 minutes ago, maybe 30 minutes ago. I turned the heat on high and I walked away. I went and had myself a glass of wine. You want this cast iron pan to be bone dry and extremely hot. So today I'm going to be blackening perch. You can blacken any fish that you want from salmon to halibut. Oh, halibut, blacken halibut. So anyhow, I'm getting carried away. I'm going to be blackening perch today. And uh, what you want to do, whatever fish that you're blackening, whatever it may be, take it out, get it up to room temp, and then just pat dry it a bit. You want the fillets to be you know, somewhat dry. Okay, so now another thing I should have mentioned, we are outside as you could probably tell by my neighbor's lawnmower. Uh, and the reason we're outside is because when we cook, when we blacken, there's a bit of smoke that comes out. So highly recommend do this outside. I've got about a quarter cup of melted butter here. You just need enough melted butter to coat your fish. So whatever that may be, I might need a little more. We'll see how it goes. And after I coat the fish, we're gonna season it with blackening spices. Now this one from Paul Prudhomme is a good blackening spice. I like his spices, but this one's for steak, so we won't use it. But he does have a great line of uh, fish spice. And instead, I'm gonna use this blackening spice that I got from the Place of Magic, New Orleans. Okay, so it's as simple as this. You take your fillets and you're gonna coat them with butter. Just get them coated one layer of butter on the outside. All right, and then once you've got a coat of butter on them, now you can season this side as well. So it looks like I'm gonna have enough butter to do these, all of these. Okay, so we're gonna take our blackening spice now and we are going to, this came out rather quick. We're gonna season that side. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Take our melted butter and just brush it on top of each filet. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have just about enough here as well. Look at that, I couldn't have, I couldn't have worked that out any better. Perfect. All right, we take our blackening spice again. All right, we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of blackening spice on there. All right, now for the magic. All right, so we're gonna drop these right into this bone dry pan. And we're gonna to start to create a little bit of smoke, as you can see. The more you put on, the smokier things get. Don't be shy, these aren't gonna stick. Just put them right on that cast iron. Lots of smoke, so that's why it's preferred to do this outdoors. If you do it indoors, you better have a really good range hood. All right, so now, these Depending on the thickness of the fish will determine how long you blacken for. But you'll start to see here an opaque color starting to form on the, on the filet. So you want to leave it as that opaque co color starts to gradually get about halfway up, that's when we're going to flip it. So it doesn't take that long, a minute or two on each side and that's it. So I'm just going to let these go a little bit and then we're going to flip them. You can see that color there is opaque. This one is ready to be uh, ready to be turned. So we're just gonna get underneath it there. Oh, look at that. That's what you wanna see right there. That That is not burnt, that's blackened. All right, so this one's looking pretty good too. Oh yeah. 
Now the thicker ones, of course, you could leave on a little bit longer. I could probably flip both of these at the same time. Oh yeah, isn't that, that's looking good. Oh boy. I'll tell you what, you cannot believe the flavor that there's going to be in this blackened fish. Now, if you don't like uh, blackened seasoning because it's a little bit hot and typically a little bit spicy, you could use straight paprika. And that will give you, you'll still have the effect of the blackening, but you won't have, you know, the hot, spicy, blackened flavor. But it'll still be delicious. Okay, we're gonna get these ones, to, oh, look at that. That's, the, that's exactly what you're gonna to wanna to see right there. And see how easy these are to turn, even though there was no oil or nothing in the pan? Because the heat is so hot, it actually lifts the perch up, if I can exaggerate a bit, with that little bit of butter, and it just doesn't stick. So that is looking absolutely fantastic. So now we're gonna give it a minute on that side, and they'll be done. These are absolutely perfect. They are done. Again, it doesn't take long. Get that little guy off there first. There, oops, that one could have actually blackened a little bit more. I'll take these smaller ones off. Whoa, oh, 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 don't touch the handle, Evo. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> I've had some good ideas. That wasn't one of them. <laughs> okay, I have to keep this hand maybe in my pocket or something. Uh, I'm used to I'm used to grabbing the handle of the frying pan, you know. A little bit of lemon squirts on top of this if you like lemon. It makes for a real nice touch. Oh boy, there we have it. Looky there. Let me turn that off. That is absolutely picture perfect right there. And like I say with a little bit of lemon juice, I'm just going to Here's a nice one right here. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on that. All right, time for the taste test. This is one of my favorite parts of cooking right here, the taste test. This is cooked absolutely perfectly. Look at how it's flaky and falls apart. Hmm. That nice hint of spice. Oh my God. That little hint of lemon juice on there. And that blackening spice, it's got a little bit of heat to it. It is so tasty. What a way to cook fish. It is absolutely delicious. It's quick. It's easy to do. And like I said earlier about restaurants, you got restaurant quality right here and then some. Whatever your favorite fish is, give this recipe a try. I really hope you do. You're going to enjoy it. I know I am, that's for sure. Wherever you're tuning in from today, I want to thank you for joining me Maybe not in the kitchen today, but on the outside grill. And until next time, bon appetito.